tarot card reading is rated Sajay, welcome to your battle for love reading for the month of August 2022. Now, yes, my darling, I know I went all out for the Vikings, but like I said, love, this here is your battle for love reading. So someone is battling for your love and this, and I thought, why not? you know have the vikings out because the vikings were people who really like went to war over the things that they loved and cherished in life baby and also Sedge, i have this new deck called the runic tarot okay and uh i'm gonna sit this right over here my darling but before we get into the reading i also have these runes for you Sedge. okay now the room that the two rooms that came out for you, the first one is uh, the one that Aquarius got. So you may want to look at Aqua's reading, but this is Ingwes, okay? Ingwes. Now, my darling, Ingwes deals with like uh, perfection and fertility, okay? Someone trying to have a brand new beginning and seeing things in a whole different way, you know, seeing the world in a whole different way, seeing people differently and just looking at things from a different viewpoint, okay? That's what Ingwes is. Ingwes also pronounced Ing, okay? Now, my darling, you also got the Nalthis. Now with these, now Taurus also got now with these. So if you want to check out Taurus reading, because now with these is talking about having the courage and the strength to go ahead and push through to this new beginning, having the courage and the strength to see things differently than how you have been seeing them, baby. Okay. Now, yes, you may have been dealing with tricksters in the past, people who have not been really having your best interest in mind, but or in heart but it's like you know when you start this whole new beginning you want it to be perfect so you want to not deal with those people who were tricksters okay love now my darling let's go ahead and get into the tarot for you love it looks like uh, you are or you have the uh, runic tarot stepping on the scene with the eight of wands now baby this eight of wands look kind of uh strange to me doesn't it look that way to you it looks like this person they have the the rune symbols and they are like you know studying from some book right here okay it may be that you're dealing with somebody who is like you know chanting because the eight of um the eight of uh wands is somebody's like you know speaking a lot communicating a lot so they may be really chanting something okay because this person doesn't look right to me Sag, it looks like this person may be trying to do something like cast some kind of spell against you. And when they speak to you, they may be speaking to you in order to, uh, you know, defend or, you know, put get your, uh, your defenses down. Like, you know, just completely conquer, baby. We got the uh, five of our swords here with the decameron. And you can see this person is going to be riding the wand, okay? It's like this person wants to completely seduce you. Sedge. They want to get on top of you. They want to ride the wand. They want to make you defenseless because you know it's like this person trying to pull this woman off of them, and it's like they can't. They can just grab onto the skirt right here because they are about to climax, Sedge. So this person is about to climax, and this person wants to get you to do that in such a way, uh, Sedge. You know we got the five of swords here. This person want to be on top and just conquer it, dominate it, make it theirs and they look like they're going to be communicating and while they are communicating my advice is that uh listen to what they are saying listen to the repetitive words that are coming out of their mouth because it may be some kind of spell that they're trying to cast on you orally baby okay now my darling could be a leo aries sagittarius uh aquarius libra gemini here we got the uh 
uh, Knight of Wands here, okay? Now, the Knight of Wands is somebody just busting down, coming in, like, very passionately. Uh, very passionately trying to get what it is that they want, and that is you, Sagittarius. Could be another Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. But, like I said, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, with the Nine of uh, Swords here, is going to try to keep you up all night with the orgasms. Okay, they're going to just grab, they're going to want you to grab their head right to the kitty, okay? You may be trying to grab their hair off of the kitty, actually. This person is like going to be on the kitty, giving you all kind of orgasms, on the wand, just sucking it like they ain't never sucked anything before, baby. And you've got her grabbing the, this back of their head right here, Sag. And this person like, nah, baby, I'm standing right here. I'm standing right here. I'm going to keep giving you orgasm after orgasm and keep, you know, having you up all night long with it, Sag. You ain't getting no rest if you let this person in your house. Now, baby, we got the, uh, Taurus right here. This is the, um, Hierophant. This person is going to try to step on the scene and uh, get you to commit to them. They have the Ace of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They may be somebody who is uh, trying to go ahead and start a whole new love affair with you or each of these orgasms is going to be like the like the ultimate orgasm. Definitely look at Aquarius reading, Sag. Now here we got the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Now this person could be somebody uh, trying to, you know, be your queen or king of pentacles, like your mate trying to get you to commit to them, Sag. And let's go ahead and look at the Decameron. You had all these cards that came out. I see the uh, Eight of Pentacles, baby. This person having you in the bedroom just, you know, cemented in there all up in the kitty all night, all up in the booty all night, having you moan all night, Sag. And then, you know, whenever you try to get some rest, you wake up, this person, uh, you know, got your shirt open and feeling all on your nipples, baby. And you're like, oh my goodness, I mean, we just went all night. They put their hand on your mouth, though. They want you to hush so that they can continue to suck on those nipples, baby. That's what they want. They want to continue sucking on them nipples. So just hush. And I see that Sag, eight of swords here. You might feel some type of, you know... Uh, you know, all up in your mind about this whole situation. Like, I mean, my goodness, who is this person? And why in the world are they so insatiable? Okay, why are they so insatiable trying to defeat you, trying to just give you all this oral sex, baby? I mean, what in the world is really going on with this individual here? Okay. I try to, that's why the note this is talking about you have to have the courage and the strength, love. Because are they just trying to love bomb you? Is this a trickster trying to get you to, you know, get your defenses down so they can go ahead and, and you know, baby? Now, Serge, this reading here is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Lilith. If it resonates with you, then don't forget, love, hit that like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading new messages, Serge. And if this is not your message, then don't worry about it, baby. I'm just going to go ahead and get you the next time. Now, Sagittarius, if you need a personal reading, the way to contact me is in the description box below. So I'm just trying to see what all this person got to say to you and, and, and what it is that they're going to be saying to you with the Eight of Wands here. Because they're trying to cast some type of spell on you, baby. Alright? Now, let me see. <clears throat> let me see here, okay? Now, this person is going to be stepping on the scene like... Hold up, baby. Let me get all the cards first. Okay, we start with this one. See, see, the one thing they're going to be saying a lot, Sag, is that you belong to me or you belong to nobody, okay? They're going to be saying that you belong to them. This is going to try to get you, you know, to, to defeat you, Sag. Now, do you love me at all? They're also going to be asking you, do you love them at all? Now, they're going to be saying, I'm jealous. Can't you see? I want you for myself only. Now, love, they may be saying that and, repetitive, and re repetitively, like they're jealous or they want you for themselves this is some type of spell baby you are my addiction i need you and i need you too they may be saying that listen i want to be your lover not your friend 
Okay, now baby, if you want me to shut up, because they're going to be, like I said, they're going to be saying something again and again. You're going to be like, could you please shut up? I mean, you're just going to keep saying the same thing again and again, damn it. This person going to be like, if you want me to shut up, then come and sit on my face now, okay? Baby, and, and stop trying to fight because I'm still going to fuck you hard and deep tonight. But I'm going to say the same thing I said for Aqua. Maybe Sagittarius want to be made love to. That they don't want to just be fucked hard and deep. You know, if you're going to go hard and deep, at least go slowly for uh, Sag to, you know... If they were trying to give you all these orgasms, my goodness. I am dying for your sex. Mm, 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 mm. I can't do anything without you. You're my drug. Okay. So this person is codependent, I see. I am obsessed and hurting, baby. I need you more than ever. Okay, see that I need you came out again, Sag? Now listen, tell me how you want it. Just tell me how you want it. Now just be whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you need. Mm, 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 mm. Sagittarius, don't you tell them anything. You want to see if this person can be what it is that uh, they are organically for you, okay? Not pretending, not putting on some type of play or some type of mask for you, love, to try to get you to lower your defenses. You want to see if they are that already so that you can lower your defenses in a way that you feel comfortable with, my darling, okay? Now, let's see what else this person talking about. All these cards coming out. Says, look at all this. Oh, it is. My goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, baby. Mm. Here's the cards went down now. Okay. Yeah, let's see, baby. Because this person, you know, already talking about I want you. Okay? I want you. Okay? I want you. I need you. My goodness. These are catchphrases. Okay? Catchphrases. Be careful. They're catchphrases. Okay? This person talk about... I could never stop loving you. They're going to be saying love over and over again, baby. Now here we got, um, uh, don't stay out all night just to punish me. It's like you've been gone all this time and you've been staying out and you've just been punishing me. Now, please give me another chance to love you. Just give me another chance to love you because I've been craving you, baby. Oh, I have been craving the living ish out of you. How could you do me that way? It's like they can't even fathom the fact that they lost you, Sag. Like, I, I miss you, Sagittarius. I miss you. I mean, just give me one more chance, love. Aqua got that one too, love. Okay, so no one, see, no one knows how to handle my body the way you do. And I just need you to give me one more chance because, you know, just, baby, um, show me how you want to be touched. If I didn't touch you right, if I didn't love you right, show me, baby, because like I said, I've been craving you. There's another catchphrase. They're going to be saying that they've been craving you. They've been craving you. They need you. They need you. They love you. They love you. You know what I'm saying? These are these words. These are like, you know, spells, baby. Are you still in love with me? <laughs> okay, love again. Uh, I tried, but I just can't say goodbye. Now, my goodness, you are definitely cross-referencing Aqua. But, baby, let me see what the uh, what the uh, Capper got to say. My goodness, love. Expectation. So while you're sitting around doing your thing, you have to, you know, expect for this person to just pop on up, Sag. Or communicate with you, like send you a message while you're looking out the window, like in this message, look, baby, marriage. What they gonna do? Just send you a message, like marry me, come to your house, like listen, marry me, Sag. And or, or if they send you a message, you're gonna be concerned about this message now. You want to be like, what the hell is this person talking about? I mean, you're gonna be looking at the message like this, like huh, what? <clears throat> marry you <laughs> toil and labor maybe this person worked hard to give you this ring maybe they've been working hard to 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 you know give you a ring or to buy you one hell of a ring baby okay now let's go ahead and get into the dark mirror 
I see today for tomorrow. So this person is trying to secure you today so they can have you for tomorrow and the rest of their life. Now here is sacrifice, Sag. They want you to make the sacrifice to just be with them. Just be with them and only with them, baby. Now here we got black flower fragrance. Now see, Sag, you just want to know that something's not right about this whole situation. It, it just something that doesn't smell right something that doesn't feel right okay this person the child i was meant to be is too immature first of all damn it with this marriage proposal I marry me like a child and and then we got to perchance to dream they're like living in some type of dream world some type of fantasy world so sad just like you're going to be like mm. I don't even know if I want to even partake in this whole fantasy you got going on talking about you obsessed and you're hurting and you tried to say goodbye but you just can't say goodbye okay wow my darling now feast make sure this person is not trying to trick you because they're coming in immature but that doesn't mean just because they are immature that they are not sincere okay they may be sincere Sag. so just trust in your own self trusting your your spirit guys trusting your own feeling because just like i said something doesn't feel right and this person with the love bombing here though with the love bombing here trying to keep you up all night or orgasms like I can't do anything without you you're my drug I'm feeling like the love bombing could be uh, them trying to make them your drug like you won't be able to do anything without this person because they're just gonna be so focused on the kitty so focused on the wand baby so I mean just just think about that while they all up in it while they you know while you having all these orgasms is this a trap okay is this a trap all right, Sag. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there, baby, and let you go ahead and ponder on this. If it's already happening to you, love it. You need to be asking yourself these questions, okay, Sag? Deuces.